possessions. So it is possible for God to have made promises to you and some people will not enter the promise. But I believe God that because you are part of this service today, you will enter into your promise in Jesus' name. So when we talk about possessing your possession, God is actually telling us that he wants us to enter into the promises he has made to us. This morning, I shall be just dwelling on the issue of what do you see? What do you see and how you see it will determine whether you will possess your possession, whether the promises God made to you, you will get it or you will not get it. If you want to possess your possessions and enjoy the promise of God, what are you seeing? And there are three dimensions. Number one, how do you see the enemy? They saw the enemy. Brethren, when they went to that land, God knew that the Amorites were there. The second area you need to watch what you see is what you see of yourself. What you see of yourself. I pray this morning that the Lord will destroy from us every grasshopper mentality in the name of Jesus. As a man thinker, so is. Many of us see ourselves as useless. We see ourselves as nobodies, hopeless, no future. But the other ten, they saw themselves as giant killers. They saw themselves as unstoppable. They saw themselves as undefeatable. They saw themselves the way God saw them as more than conquerors. Then the third thing was that how do you see God? Brethren, if everything about how you see your future is tied to the physical and you cannot see God, then you cannot possess the promises of God. 